Good evening, everybody. Hello. Welcome to class number two. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. Come on in. Nice to see you because I, I met you yesterday. So nice to see you. Welcome to the class. What's going on? Are we ready? One hour of full English practice. Are we ready to start? Let's stretch, let's warm up. How are you? How are you? Are you ready? We have some questions to talk about. Um, let's start. I'll open with a question. Uh, let me go with uh, Ingrid Arias. Good evening, Ingrid. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I can hear you. I can hear you well. Okay. Um, tell me, did you have a pet when you were a child? No, I didn't. I don't really like animals in general. Really? Good to know. Good to know. Uh, make one of the questions to one of your classmates. Go ahead. Mm, Kimberly Fuentes. Hello, Kimberly. Can you hear us? Okay. No. Um, when tell me, do tell you me, tell me. Study English? Repeat, repeat. When did you first study English? Interesting question. Okay. Uh, did you study in seventh grade? No sé si está bien dicho. Wait, Kimberly, wait, Kimberly. Ingrid is asking you a question. So pay attention. Ingrid, repeat one more time. When did you first study English? When? When did you first study English, Kimberly? Do you remember? When did you first study English? It's like your very first experience with the English language. Um... Uh, my first experience in English um, in seventh grade, septimo grado. Simple pass. Was. Was. Yes. Repeat again. Um, um, my first. My first. Experience with the experience English language was. Repeat, 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 was, repeat. In the seventh grade. Complete, complete. My first experience with the English level was in seventh grade. Okay. Chat it, chat it, chat it on the chat, Kimberly. Chat it on okay. the chat. My question is for Jocelyn Herrera. Hello, Jocelyn. Can you hear us? Hello, teacher. Welcome to the class. Question for you. When did you first study English? When did you first study English? My first study English in ninth grade. What's ninth grade? You can say you can say my first experience with first English. With English was was in in ninth grade. Ninth grade. 
Okay, put your example on the chat. Okay, Jocelyn, chat me the example now. Also you, Kimberly, you owe me your example. Um, let's see, how about Judith Tios? Tell me, Judith, um, when did you first study English? That's an interesting question. Yes, I was studying English in my first time when I was a child in the, the first grade. Can no you hear kidding, me? no kidding. <laughs> okay, so this is an action that finished, okay? In this case, guys, we better use simple past, but uh, with the action verb. In this case, study will become studied. Okay, thank you. Yeah, when you studied, when you studied first grade? Yes. That's awesome. I didn't have English class when I studied first grade. I remember that, uh, we um, practice with songs, the Beatles songs, mm. and uh -huh, in our TV classes. Nice. Uh, yes. So it was it was not boring, huh? It was not boring. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Anyways, Judith, go ahead and shoot a question for one of your classmates. Okay. Jocelyn Herrera. When did you first experience about English? My first experience with studying English in ninth grade. Wait, wait, wait. What is the what is the what is the activity here? Uh, study English. Uh, that's not the subject. Wait. Um, let me see. My first experience. Does the does the complement with the with the English language. Oops, again, with the English, English language. With the English language, my first experience with the English language, or you can say, I first study English, I, first studied English. Teacher. Yes. I had a question. Yes. We speak in English. Come on. No se puede empezar así como es que de la doble H question con did you study, un ejemplo. Yeah, you can make a just no question. Yes, you can make a just no question. Did you yeah. Okay. For example, the ones in the class yesterday, right? Did you did you drink? Did you study, right? Etc. Let me just uh, pull this up right here. Right. There you go. There you go. So I can see you all now. Let me just maximize this screen. There you go. Okay, Eliseo Flores, can you hear me, Eliseo? Yes, yes. Please. Awesome. Go ahead and make one of the questions to one of your classmates, please. Try to use your simple pass, guys. Hello? Eliseo? One question. Yeah, one question to one of your classmates. Hello? I don't, I don't know what is the question. Were you in the class yesterday? Yes. Okay, so that means that you didn't do your first homework. It is about the middle. No, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't do your first homework. Okay, so in this case, I suggest pay attention now because it's important for you to do your homework so you can participate with these interactions. Let me go, Noemi Estrada. Can you make a question, Miss Noemi, to one of your classmates? Pardon? 
can you make a question to one of your classmates? Remember the questions from the homework? This, yes. The homework I led you yesterday and yes. the homework we chatted on the WhatsApp chat on the group. Yes. So you had two channels to see your homework. Yes, yes. go ahead. Yes. Um, una pregunta. Did you have a pet when you were a child? Okay, okay. Choose one classmate. Choose one classmate. Give me one name. We have Jose, Iris, Marlon, Andrea, Eliseo. Andrea. Andrea, Andrea Garcia. Andrea. Can you hear Andrea us, Andrea? Garcia. Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead with your answer. Um, yes, I did. I was a dog. It was, okay, it was a dog. Yes, yes, you did. It was a dog, really? What was its name? Yes. It's um, Kimba. L let me repeat you the question, pay attention. What was, what was its name? Your name? If uh, oh, her name was somebody, somebody can help Andrea. The name was could be, could be good, good, good oh, job, Alice. The name was okay, that's one way. The possessive is it's okay because the subject is it, it. So the possessive adjective is it's it's. No apostrophe. Its name was, repeat, its name was, its name which means in Spanish, mm -hmm. su nombre era, right? It's, you know, her is correct also sometimes because now they say that pets are family members, so we treat them like almost a human, blah, 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 mumble jumbo. <laughs> Anyways, good job. Okay, good job. Noemi, good job. Okay, let's go with uh, Marlon. Can you hear us, Marlon? Thanks. Hi. Marlon, make one of the questions to one of your classmates. Eh, fíjese que yo no entré, no pude asistir ayer a clase, entonces no entiendo muy bien qué están haciendo. Okay, no problem, no problem. We have only three more minutes. Only pay attention, only pay attention. Let's go Francisco Lemos, make a question, gentlemen. Hello, good evening, teacher. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, uh, how are our classmates? Oh, choose, um, choose oh, one okay, of your okay, classmates. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, uh, where did he go middle school? Um, um, Oscar. Don Oscar. <laughs> Mr. Oscar. Mr. Oscar. Mr. Cruz. Oscar. <laughs> yes. Ready, Mr. Oscar? Yes. Go ahead. Slowly, okay. Francisco. Slowly, okay? Go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Make a question, Francisco. Come on. Repeat. You have to make a question, sir, from your homework, remember? Yes. Make where a question. You, Make a where question. Where did you go to middle is uh, high school? Where did you where did you where did you go to study high school? Okay. Good high job. school, sorry. Okay. Okay, Oscar, I, where I did went, you study high school? I went to middle school in El Salvador. What what repeat, repeat? I went to middle I went to middle. School in El Salvador. Uh, to middle middle school. Is middle that what you're saying? School. Middle, middle school. school. Okay, okay. Middle you school. went to middle school in El Salvador. Yeah, but but what 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 institution? What was the name? What was the name of the school? Rosa Virginia Pelletier se llamaba. In English, in English, it was, it was, remember, it's a place, 
He was. It's a company, it, so the subject no, is it. It was. It, it was. Eh, the, the, Ahora sí dice el nombre como es, tal cual, porque es un nombre propio. Yes, it was. It was the Rosa Virginia Pelletier. <laughs> Good job, Oscar. Good job. Kimberly, go ahead. La última. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, teacher. Is correct. Uh, did you go the inning in San Miguel? Did you go? Estaría, uh -huh, estaría correcto. Did Repeat? you go the inning in San Miguel? I don't understand the last part. Did you um, go? Ajá, inning es el, así llama el instituto en el que fui, es la abreviación. Oh, ok, so, did you go to, did you go ajá, to. Ajá, did you go to inning, o sea, el Instituto Nacional Isidro Menéndez. Ok, yeah, that's correct, that's correct. Ok, thank you. Thank you guys for your participation, good job for the ones who did the homework. Okay, great job. We will continue now. This yes. is something you were supposed to do yesterday. Let's go over tonight's objective. Help me out reading it. Let's go, Mr. Vital Mejia. Help us reading the objective, gentlemen. Do need to share. Welcome, sir. Um, no, no, take me this school, teacher. Speak in English, speak in English. Repeat, teacher. Teacher Caleb, repeat for me, teacher. Repeat. Okay, Mr. Vidal. Okay, it's, it's because you have noise in the background. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, next time, next time you will participate because of the noise. Yeah, tiene un poquito de ruido ahí, Vidal, okay? Cerremos ahí el micrófono, close your microphone, thank you. Only pay attention, only pay attention, Vidal. Uh, let's go with, um, let me see, Jocelyn Herrera, you ready? Yes, teacher. Help us with the objective tonight. Listen, objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to make positive and negative statements in the past tense. Using the verb to be, additionally, you will be able to talk about your background in English. For example, explaining where you were born and when you come to the United States. These English conversation skills will help you introduce yourself and respond to question using correct English grammar. Thank you so much, Jocelyn. So able, able, you will be able, right? You will be able. Positive and negative statements using, using the verb to be, right? In the simple past. Remember the verb to be in simple past? Can you remind me the verb to be in simple past? Was and where. Was and where. Was and where. 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 All right. Everybody is clear with that? Yes? Yep. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, what is the negative? What is the negative of was? Wasn't. 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 Good job, Oscar. What is the negative for where? Weren't. 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 Excellent. Let me see. We have a chat right here. Sorry, teacher. I am not 100% tonight. Okay, Iris. Okay, no problem. I totally understand. If you can chat, that's a plus. Okay. So, was and where. And you will be able to talk about your background. Let's go for it. Let's go. Simple pass with the bird to be. Please pay attention. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to make positive and negative statements using the bird to be. Additionally, you'll be able to make statements such as, I was born in China, I wasn't born in the United States. Let me get started by quickly explaining this chart. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this chart and we're going to quickly focus on the left side of this chart. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make positive statements such as I was born in Argentina and how to make negative statements such as I wasn't born in 
let's say, Mexico. The first thing that I would like to explain regarding this topic is one basic rule, and that's Please, guys, close your microphones. Let me see. Please close your microphones. My gosh, Noemi, please help me with that. That can be happening. The birth to be. So let me uh, let me get to that. What I want to do is explain the following concept, and that is that the birth to be will change depending on the pronoun that you use. For instance, whenever you use the pronouns I, he, she, or it. The verb to be that we're going to have to use for positive sentences is was. And whenever we make a negative sentence, then we're going to have to use wasn't. So if we look at our example here at the top, I was born in Argentina. Um, if I use another pronoun, let's say that I use the pronoun he, then I will say he was born in Argentina. If I were to use the pronoun she, then I would say she was born in Argentina. And obviously the same thing whenever we make a positive or negative sentence uh, with the um, other um, pronouns. So if I were to talk about we, then we will say something like we were born in Argentina. Um, you were born in Argentina. They were born in Argentina. Uh, so let me quickly explain uh, you know, what the structure looks like. So in order to do that, we're going to have a subject plus uh, the bird to be in the past, and then we're going to have some sort of complement. So the example is, um, I was born in Argentina, okay. and then what I want to say is, I also want to give a negative statement, so I want to say, I wasn't born in uh, China. This is the uh, first example that I gave you at the beginning, um, and what I want to do at this time, I just want to quickly color that. I'm going to color the subject in red, and I would like to color uh, the verb in green, and then the complement. I'm just going to go ahead and color that in a different color. It could be any color. The only thing that I want you to notice is that uh, we have a subject at the beginning that follows the verb to be, and then that follows some sort of complement in order for us to make the positive statements or the negative statements. So I mentioned that um, the subject, we can change that to any subject that we would like. So for example, he, we could say he was born in Argentina. Uh, we could say she was born in Argentina. And also, I quickly want you to learn that you may also use names here. So for example, you may say Peter was born in Argentina, right? Uh, Mary was born in Argentina, and so on and so forth. Uh, and of course, if we want to make negative statements, then we would say something like this: uh, He wasn't born in Ar in China, right? I was born in Argentina. I wasn't born in China. Whenever we change the subject, now we use you. So therefore, we're going to have to use the verb to be where, and in our negative statements, that would be weren't. So uh, you were born in Argentina. And of course, we can say you, and this will be in its negative form. So this will be you weren't born in China. So what I would like for you to do now is to tell me in what part of the world were you born? And I want you to give me positive statements and negative statements about yourself. So for instance, let's say that you were born in Brazil. Well, then you will tell me something like, I was born in Brazil. And obviously, because you were born in Brazil, you weren't born in Argentina. So your statement could be, I was born in Brazil, I wasn't born in Argentina. Um, and I know there are students from different parts of the world, so maybe your statement could be, I was born in China, I wasn't born in Japan. And perhaps your parents were born in France. So my parents were born in France. And I want you to make a negative statement with that. So they weren't born in, let's say, Spain. Depending on the pronoun that you use. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, great, 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 great. So here we have, where were you born? 
and um, were you born in Buenos Aires? Now, the exercise is to say where were you born using an affirmative uh, statement and a negative statement. Uh, also about someone else and also about plurals, right? Let me try to open my camera once again. It's a requirement to have the camera on. So something positive and something negative. Let's start. Where were you born? The question is, where were you born? You have to say something positive and something negative using these formulas, right? The bird to be in simple past. Let's start with someone who hasn't participated. Let's go with uh, Jose, Enrique. What about you? Something positive, something negative. Bird to be. Hi, everyone. Uh, I was born in San Salvador, even though my birth certificate doesn't say that. Uh, um, I wasn't born in Santa Ana. All right. And, and, and what does your, your birth certificate say, just out of curiosity? Cuscatlan, because my mother was born there. Mm, okay, okay. Something similar happened to me. Uh, interesting, Jose. Interesting. Thank you. Let's go with Ingrid. Tell us about you. I was born in Usulután. I wasn't born in San Miguel. Mm. All right. Nice weather, huh? Nice weather. Nice weather. No. <laughs> no? Really? Ha Absolutely no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. not. Uh, Absolutely what about, what about, not. let me see, what about Marvin Cepeda? Are you there? Talk to us. Jennifer Torres, are you there? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. I was I was born in Sonate. I wasn't born in Santan. Nice pronunciation. Good job. Lorena Martinez, tell me. Talk to us. It is Regina. Are you there? Hi, teacher. Uh -huh. What I about was, you? I was born in. I was. I was I, born. Repeat. I, I was born. Open I your was lips. Born. born. The born. sound of the end. Mm, I, was, I born. was born. In San Salvador. Yeah, twelve in San Salvador. Born. Okay, the first part is correct. Okay. I was born in San Salvador. That is correct. Now, yeah. the second part, you need to make a negative statement. Oh, okay. I I was born in San Salvador. And I I not I wasn't in Santana. I wasn't born. I wasn't born in Santana. Mm-hmm. Okay, I was now working your intonation. Okay, yeah. I was born in San Salvador. I, I wasn't was born, born in San, San Miguel. I wasn't born in San Miguel. Good job, Noemi. Go ahead. I was born in Santa Ana City. I wasn't born in Thailand. 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 Very Thailand. well. Very well. What about you, uh, Salvador? Bernal. Thanks. I was born in Chinameca. I wasn't born in Usulután. Excellent. Good job. Be careful with the mm, born. Born. Okay. Um, what about you, Jennifer Torres? Yes. Okay, what about you, Francisco? Okay, okay. 
I wasn't born in. Wait, wait, wait. Positive <laughs> and sorry, negative. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was, I wasn't, I was born in San Salvador. I wasn't no China. I wasn't no, or I was. I wasn't no. I wasn't. I wasn't born in China. Very so well. I, I, very I have well. a question, teacher. Yes. In born is in, in past tense or present tense. Born is 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 in um uh, is in past actually this is past oh, simple God. past sorry it's sorry. an action that happened it's okay. donde tu naciste right okay nice okay. job Thanks. what about Andrea Garcia are you there yes teacher go ahead I was born in San Salvador I wasn't born in San Miguel good pronunciation good job what about Thanks. Alejandra Noches is it noches? Yes. Curious. Nice. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, Miss Noches. <laughs> That's okay. Nice. I was born in San Salvador. Wait, wait. I, I was, was in, I was. I was born born in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. I wasn't born in Santa Ana. Nice, nice. Uh, Oscar, good job. Good job, lady. I'm sorry, I, I didn't was, hear you. Repeat, I, repeat. I was born Salvador. I was born San Salvador. Wait, wait, wait. Affirmative. Uh, I was born yes. in San Salvador. You were born Salvador. in San Salvador, right? Yeah, yes. And the negative? Uh, I wasn't born in San Miguel. Very well, very well. Okay, now let's switch. We're going to talk about someone else. We're going to say, where was? Okay, where was your brother born? Where was your wife or husband born? Yes? Let me open up with a question. He was born in the United States. He, he was, was born, born in the United States. Okay, make a question, Kimberly, make a question. Third person. Okay. Um... Volunteers, do you have a question in third person? No? Where was? Okay, Jocelyn, go ahead. Where were your uncle born? Where? Where your was. uncle was. Where, was? where was your uncle born? Born. born. Give me the mm, born. Yes. Where was your uncle born? Volunteers, raise your hand, say it or chat it. Where was your uncle born? Go ahead, Judith. Where was your mother born? Wait, wait, wait. But Judith, first answer the question. First answer the question. Where was your uncle born? My uncle? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, he was born? In United States. In the United States. Wonderful. Salvador, go ahead. Good job, Judith. Thank you. Where was your son born? Where was your son born? Volunteers, say it or chat it. Where was your son born? My son was born in Santa Tecla. Interesting, Eliseo. Good job. Somebody else has an answer. Where was mm. your son born? My son is was born in Santa Ana City. You will say, you will say, my son. My son. Was. Was. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Because oh it's third son. person. Remember, I, he, she, it, was. 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 My uh -huh. son is this my subject. Son. It's he. He. Right? So, my son. My son. It was. No, 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 no. It is different. My son was. Yes. My son was born in Santa Ana City. That is correct. Okay. okay. Nice. Now you have nice. to say, now the challenge is this. You have to say something positive and something negative. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. So my son nice. was born in. My son was born in. My son is my, my son, son was is, my son was is mm -mm -mm. born. Ya nos confundimos. <laughs> okay, okay, relax, relax, relax. <laughs> Claudia, Claudia, Claudia G. Claudia, I need your last name on your name. Can you make the correction, please? Are you there, Claudia? No, uh, Juan, Juan Martinez. Yeah, yeah, teacher. Hello, sir. Uh, tell me. Hello. Tell me. Do I have No, uh, do you have an answer for that? No, make a question, make a question. Okay. Um, where, where was, was your, yeah. Where, where? Your uncle born. Where was? Uh, where was your aunt born? Aunt, okay. Where yeah. was your aunt born? Okay, thank you, Juan. Let me see, Judith, you had a question. Can you repeat your question previously? Activate your microphone. Okay. Where was your mother born? That's an interesting one. Where was your mother born? The challenge is something positive, something negative. Volunteers, say it or chat it. My mom was born in El Salvador. She wasn't born in, a, born, sorry, in Argentina. Yay! <laughs> somebody else, somebody else. Come on, come on, come on. Say it or chat it. Michelle, go ahead. Okay. Uh, where was your best friend born? Okay, that's another question. Where was your best friend born? Something affirmative and something negative. Come on, say it or chat it now. My best friend was born in San Salvador mm -hmm. uh, and he was born in the Chalatan. Okay, uh, you're breaking up. Can you repeat the negative? Can you repeat the negative? He wasn't born in Chalatan. Okay, okay. He wasn't born. Guys, give me, give me that, give me that pronunciation. Born. He born. wasn't burned. Uh, he born. was born. He was born. He wasn't burned. Okay. Um, volunteer, volunteer, go ahead. Say it or chat it. Yes, teacher. Who? Who's this? Oscar, go ahead, Oscar. Speak up, Oscar. Where were your parents born? Where were your parents born? Now, parents. It's plural, okay? Yes. Okay. So they the answer were, is... They were in Mexico. With they where? Were, they were in Mexico. They were in Mexico. They were born. Uh, they were born in Mexico. Correct. Now the negative? They were born in Mexico. No, no, no. They are... uh, in, in Guatemala. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> be careful, be careful. Somebody else, say it or chat it. Yeah, teacher. Go ahead. Where was your grandmother? 
Where was your grandmother born? Where was your grandmother born? Born. Open your mouth. Born. 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 Don't close your lips. Don't don't close your lips. Where was your grandmother born? Okay, guys, say it or chat it. Good question, Kim. My grandmother. My. Grand my... <laughs> okay, ladies first. Ladies first. Go ahead. Okay, my grandmother was born in San Salvador. She wasn't born in Usulután. That is correct, Michelle. Good job. Thank okay, you. now, gentlemen, go ahead. My grandmother was born in Santa Ana. My grandmother wasn't born in Opico. Correct, correct, correct. She wasn't born. Okay, so your grandma, grandmother was born in Santa Ana. She wasn't born in Opico. That's fantastic. Somebody else, say it or chat it. My, my, okay, let's go with Noemi first and then we go with Francisco. Go ahead, Noemi. Okay. My grandmother was born in Coatepeque. My, my grandmother was born in Chile. Chile or oh Chile. 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 <laughs> Good job, Noemi. Okay, Francisco, it's your turn, sir. Okay. Um, Jaime, my example is uh, my mother. My example is my mother. Yes, it's, um, about, it's about your mother. It's, <laughs> it's about, about your my mother. mother. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, my mother uh, was born in Santa Tecla. My uh, she she wasn't born in San Salvador. Nicely done. <laughs> Can I hear your answer, Salvador? Go ahead. Repeat, please. No, Francisco. Good job, Francisco. Good job. Oh, okay. I go Sorry. with Salvador now. Okay, go ahead, Salvador. My grandmother was born in Uslután. She wasn't born in Morazán. Outstanding. Good job. Ingrid, can I hear you? Okay. Where was your uh, another familiar um where was your sister born? Okay, can you make a plural question? Oh. Where, um, where? When? Mm. Where, where? Oh, for example, for example, wait, wait, the question that Oscar asked before, let's, let's, let's keep that one. The question that Oscar said, he said, where were your parents born? And that is that is a little, it's tricky. It's tricky because sometimes they were born in the same city, but some other times your father was born in this place and your mother was born in a different place. So it's a little complicated because in my case, my mother was born in Santa Ana she wasn't born in San Salvador. On the other hand, my dad was born in Chalchuapa. He wasn't born in Ahuachapan. You follow me? So it's a little different. What about you? Chat it or say it. Teacher, um, and they say, where were your brothers born? Brothers? Yes. In plural? And siblings. It's siblings. Siblings because no, brothers is, is, is only mom. two is only two men. Or or sisters is only two ladies. So mm -hmm. all together it would be siblings. Siblings. Uh-huh. Okay. No, vamos con siblings. Let's go with siblings. Yeah? Let's go with siblings. Okay. Let's go with siblings. Uh, let's go ahead. Wait, wait, Francisco. Give me one second because I need I need somebody else. Let me see. Jocelyn, what about you, Jocelyn? Where were your siblings born? Do you understand the question, guys? Siblings? Yes. Okay. Yeah. 
Yes. Brothers and sisters, right? Brothers and sisters. Okay. My brother was born in Apopa. He wasn't born in Cuscatancingo. Okay. My Only give me the give me the mm, born, born 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 born. Continue. Okay. My sister was born in San Salvador. Born. She was born in San Salvador. She wasn't born in La Libertad. Nicely done. Good grammar, Jocelyn. Uh, practice sounds with that letter, okay? With the letter N at the end. Google some Google some sounds like that. I need you to practice that one. Uh, somebody else? Somebody else? Say it or chat it. Teacher, I have a question. Sorry. Yes, sir. What is a um, trick in Spanish? Trick? Yes. You're Come on, truco. Trick. trick. Oh, okay. Thanks. Uh -huh. Okay, sure. Uh, somebody else? About your siblings. Where were your siblings born? My siblings was born in San Miguel. All of them, right? Very well. So that's uh, that's complete. That's right. Okay. Thank you for your participation, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Do you want to practice any of these questions? Do you want to practice any of these questions? I think this type of question is a little difficult because you're using a WH word, you use using the auxiliary, the subject, the verb, and the complement. What do you think? It's easy or difficult? Easy. It's easy. It's easy? Yeah. Okay. Very well, very well. Let's make a question. Let's make a question, prepare one question using this structure, okay? We have a similar question. Let me see. When did you first study English? That was, that was one question like that. And where did you go to middle? Where did you go to middle school? Okay, prepare your questions. I'll give you what, one minute? Do you have a question ready? Somebody has a question ready now to open up or do you, do you need time? Yes, yes, cool. yes. Yes, yes, yes. We have only 15 minutes it, to practice. It, Go ahead. Uh, uh -huh. I have a question. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, where did you go on vacation in August? Where did you go? On, on, vacation, vaca on vacation. On vacation in August. In August. 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 That's a very good question, Iris. Let me repeat it. Okay. Um, where, where did, you, did go you go on vacation in August? Okay. Guys, where did you go on vacation? Vacation. In August. August. Prepare your answer. Say it or chat it. In my on my last vacation, I went to the beach with my family. What beach did you go to? Who? What, what, or which, which beach did you go to? Uh, we went to the Tunco Beach. Fantastic, fantastic. Let me see, my vacations were at my house. Good job, Francisco. <gasps> okay, nice. Somebody else? I will modify the question. I will modify the question. It is questions. I will change where and I'm going to put what. And I'm going to change the verb go. I'm going to put do. So what did you do? 
What did you do on your last vacation? What did you do on your last vacation? Exercise. Exercise. I need you to prepare the answer. And I need from three to five activities in the answer. I'm going to give you five minutes. For example, on my last vacation, I stayed home. I watched Netflix. I ate a lot of popcorn. And I drank coffee with my family members. You need three or five activities. Okay? Five minutes. Now, prepare it. I need clear examples with the simple past verbs. Prepare your examples now. You have any question? Let me know. All right. I need, I need to hear some examples. Go ahead. Anyone is ready? Raise your hand. Anyone is ready? Raise your hand. The challenge is to speak about where or what did you do? What did you do on your last vacation? Go ahead, Jose Hernandez. Okay, um, in my last vac vacation, I stayed at home most of the time. 
I went to the movie theater and I went to visit some friends. I also saw a lot of television. That's everything I did in my last vacation. Okay. Um, according to grammar is correct, but I need you to look, I need you to use more logic, okay, on your speech. Um, you said that you stayed home, right? Most of the time. Yes. Right? Watching so, television. Uh-huh, but you needed you needed to put me if you stayed home, the place was your home, so you had to connect three or five ideas, three or five activities that you did in that place. You follow me? After that, you can jump to another place, like the movie theater that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'm gonna help you with that. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, um, somebody else? Go ahead, Miss Tios. In my last vacation, I went to visit malls. I did different craft. I went to the pool and I listened music. Again, grammar is absolutely correct. Congratulations, Judith. Grammar Thank is you. correct. Now, we need to work on your logic, okay? We need to work on your logic because you started the same way than Jose, right? Uh, you went to uh, visit the I, mall. I have to. I have to put in order the the, the situation occur. You you need to give me a little more details about the the, the first place you mentioned, so then Malls? you can move to another place. Because, for example, if you if you went to the malls. Tell me what you did in the malls. Okay. At least three or five activities. After that, okay. you switch to a different place. You follow me? Okay. Yes. Can I do it again? Of course, if you're ready for it. <laughs> okay. In my last vacation, I went to visit malls. After that, I went to eat hamburger. I bought a some teacher. And after that, I went to the pool. Okay, I visited the malls. Uh, I visited, hey, in my last vacation, I visited the <laughs> malls. I ate hamburgers. I, what? I, I bought. I bought. I bought some t-shirts. I bought some t-shirts. So you separate them by commas, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you use a connector. After that, you follow me? So it's like giving a list. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you an example. I'm gonna send you an example in the chat tomorrow. So you can check the example, uh, what I expect on your answers, okay? okay? So please be tuned in the chat. I'm gonna send you some information on the chat. I'm gonna send you a homework in the chat tomorrow before 9 a.m. You will have it there. Okay, guys, I really appreciate your attendance today. How do you feel? Do you feel nervous? Michelle, go ahead, Michelle. You have a question? No, I have an example. Oh, so go ahead, try, try it. Try, <laughs> try it. <laughs> well, in my last vacation, I went, uh, I went to my grandma's house. We ate a lot of pan dulce or sweet bread. And then we watched a movie on Netflix. And that's it. Mm, sounds a little better. Sounds a little better. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Sounds a little better. Okay. Good job. Good job. We're going to improve. I'm going to help you to improve. Remember that that's why I'm here for, to help you. You can, you have the grammar, you have a lot of knowledge. So we're going to help you with some logical ideas, more logical uh, speech. So you can rock and roll. All right. Okay. Thank you. Any comments, guys? Any comments? No comments? No questions? 
Yes, the class was uh, very exciting for me and funny. And I had lights. I had electricity today. Yesterday, I was like a ghost, right? In the darkness. Yes. <laughs> like a ghost. You're a good teacher. Thank you. I am. Oh, thank you for the compliment. Guys, have a good evening. I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same okay. place. Good night, good night, good night, everyone. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Check the what's up for your homework yeah. tomorrow. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>